The following video is rated 18 plus and up. That means if you're not of age, kiddo, then would you kindly, please, piss off. Hey! Hi. How you doing? This is Ryan, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. I think it's safe to say we can certainly pop the champagne on this one. Talk about a smashing success. To say that I'm happy, overjoyed, jubilant, all understatements. Let's get this out of the way right now. If you know anything about me and my connection to Subverse, then you know that this video game means a great deal to me. Hell, it's the most important video game in my life. This game quite literally changed my life forever. I consider members of the voice cast of this game to be friends and family. I deeply love them and would do anything for them. So it's quite evident that I'm pretty fucking biased when it comes to this game. I am 100% compromised. Do not expect anything even remotely objective to come from me in any review related format around Subverse, okay? I'm just gonna assume you're here watching this video because you love hearing me gush about things I love. My god man, the very first early access update of the game on Steam mentions me. Look! There's my name! Right there! I'm in a Steam update post for a video game! Do you have any idea what this does for my ego? <laughs> Anyways, Subverse, Early Access, let's talk about it. So, apparently, this is Studio FOW's very first video game, only having worked on previously 16 animated movies and 4 Flash games, but I don't believe that for a second. Why don't you all just come out and admit you're veteran video game developers, because my god, you expect me to believe that this is your very first video game that you've ever made with this level of craftsmanship? and polish, with the supremely quality visuals, animations, sounds, music, just audio in its entirety. The game looks and feels and sounds triple A, like a product crafted by industry veterans. So it leaves me in utter awe that this is Studio FOW's first video game. You honestly could have fooled me. What we've been given so far in the initial early access stage not only has me beyond excited for the full complete release, but I'm also hyped as hell for whatever video game studio FOW decides to make next. To any of the devs watching and listening to this right now, you folks are immensely talented. I sincerely hope you're proud of what you've accomplished here. Despite my obvious bias, know that you lads and lasses genuinely made something good here. Of course, it's important to listen to and absorb criticism, but if someone ever tells you that you made a bad video game, you can confidently and rightly tell them to go fuck themselves and shut the fuck up because they're fucking idiots that don't know what they're fucking talking about. Studio FOW, you folks made a good video game. Period. But why is Subverse so good, I hear you ask? Well, let me tell you. First off, just fucking look at the game, man! The game was built using Unreal Engine 4, and my god was its graphics engine used to its fullest. The amount of vibrant colors and details in the environments, the character models, the lighting. The game looks bloody gorgeous! Had I just seen Subverse's graphics without knowing anything else about the game, I would easily mistake it for a triple-A game, not an indie game, not a double-A game, not a game that was funded on Kickstarter. The game's visuals look triple-A, they are fucking beautiful. Especially the backgrounds of space during the shoot 'em up sections, just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 10 out of 10 graphics. An aspect of Subverse that I think is completely underrated is the game's soundtrack, its music, its score. It's fucking phenomenal.
The fact that you can listen to almost all of the music in the game on this here jukebox, in the bar on your ship, is a huge plus. Simply stellar music, please. Please release the soundtrack. I will buy it. We will all buy it in spades, in droves, in whatever numerical metric you want to use. People will buy the soundtrack of Subverse. It's so good. Please release the soundtrack. I absolutely hate it. No, despise it. When fantastic video game soundtracks are overlooked. Seriously, if you find the time, listen to this game's music. God, it's so good. Up next, gameplay which was honestly for me, the biggest surprise out of this whole package. Because the combat gameplay of Subverse in both its forms, spaceship shoot 'em up and turn-based tactical strategy are both really fun and addicting. The shoot 'em up gameplay is tight, fluid, responsive. Weapons look, feel, and sound great. There's a surprising amount of depth and skill involved. Using your ship's thrusters to quickly reposition. Utilizing asteroids as cover. Timing when and where to use your special secondary weapon. It's engaging and satisfying. And I think that's especially showcased during the Huntress boss battle. Which just by any ordinary video game boss fight standards is a really fucking great boss fight. Her multitude of abilities that you have to adapt to and overcome on the fly a real genuine test of focus and skill at the game's controls. So yeah, the shoot 'em up gameplay is really good. It's really fucking good. And when it comes to the turn-based tactical strategy gameplay, I shockingly like it, and if you know anything about me, I don't like games that are turn-based, with very, very few exceptions. And it appears Subverse is one of those exceptions. One of the biggest issues I have in general with turn-based tactical strategy is just how slow, how painfully slow combat encounters in these sorts of games can be. Majority of the time, I prefer my games fast-paced. And Studio FOW has managed to make their turn-based tactical strategy combat fast-paced. It doesn't take minutes to deliberate what your next move should be. Enemies aren't super tanky and don't one-hit kill you. You're not overwhelmed with options and abilities. Everything is simple, streamlined, straight to the point. I honestly wish more turn-based tactical strategy games adopted this kind of design. But make no mistake, however, intelligence, strategy, and positioning are still key to winning battles. You just don't have two dozen factors to concern yourself over while making your move. So yeah, I quite enjoy both styles of combat present in Subverse, and they are only aided by their spectacular graphical visuals and audio design. Subverse, the adult hentai porn game, has genuinely great combat gameplay that puts a lot of other early access games, indie games, double A games to shame. And now we come to last, but certainly not least, the story and characters. I'm beyond blown away. The writing, the dialogue, the humor, the drama, it's perfection. There's no better way to describe it all besides perfection. I'm charmed by every single character. I care about every single character. I want to see more and hear more of every single character. It's honestly torturous having to wait for the future chapters and acts of Subverse as it progresses through early access. I want the whole thing now, damn it. I know that's not realistic or possible, but I feel how I feel. <laughs> I want more and I can't get enough. Throughout my first playthrough of the game, I was non-stop laughing out loud. The parody, so raunchy yet so intelligent. The references, so relatable and modern. And the heartfelt serious moments? Pulled on every single heartstring. Subverse's story, writing, and characters are so good. It's so good. It's bloody perfection. This is a sci-fi parody hentai game whose narrative, whose storytelling just absolutely blows away countless mainstream video games. And the core of that comes from Subverse's characters and voice acting. To all of the voice actresses and actors, to all of the ladies and gentlemen responsible for bringing these characters to life, I mean this from the absolute bottom of my heart when I say this. Thank you. And I love you. I know all of the struggles, all of the successes, all of the ups and downs, all of the hard work you women and men have been through. You've given it your all, your heart and soul, 110% into these roles. These characters aren't just characters, they're a part of you. I know that, I see that, I feel that. And I adore that. Subverse would not be Subverse without all of you. You are part of the reason this game is such a major success, and I hope you know that. God bless every single one of you, and 
Thank you. Thank you for all that you do, and thank you for being you. Know that you have a lifelong fan and supporter in me. I will gladly promote and support what any of you plan to work on and become a part of in the future. You all deserve nothing but the utmost love, respect, and success in the world. What I'm getting at here is support your voice actors, people. They don't grow on trees. Talent like this only comes once in a lifetime, you know? So give them all of your money and all of your adoration. I'm gonna break your fucking kneecaps. So, anyways, yeah, those are almost all of my first impressions of the initial launch early access content for Subverse. The only real criticism and request I have for the developers is please give us the option to replay main story quests and side quests. I'm an absolute sucker for replayability in my games, so having the option to replay my favorite quests on the fly whenever I want to would be greatly appreciated. And that's about it. I cannot wait for the next major content update for Subverse. I can't wait to continue the story and spend more time with these characters and meet all the other characters we have yet to be introduced to. So excited for the future of Subverse, I cannot wait for the full release, out of early access, Subverse, Game of the Year 2021 already, Game of the Year 2022 when it leaves early access, Subverse, Game of the Year, Game of the Decade, Game of the Century. Can you tell I'm biased? If you're looking for an unbiased review and critique of Subverse, I highly recommend watching the videos from my friend and fellow content creator and sexy as hell voice actress, Succubi69, as well as Hisasuke. Their Subverse critiques and reviews are far more, well, uh, just not nearly as fucking biased as mine. <laughs> Anyways, go buy the game on Steam. Go follow and support all of the voice actresses and actors on their social media. Stay tuned on my channel for even more future content on Subverse, and I'll see you all later.